Reason I love my job number 376, working on my own bike in this really nice air conditioned shop. Let's get the video started. Welcome to the UTI page. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Maxwell and I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here at Chattahoochee Harley Davidson. And on this channel I bring you, wait, that's how I do my channel. Well, that's how this thing kind of happened. I'm a tech here at Chattahoochee Harley Davidson, but I also run this YouTube channel and some guys in my saw it and they thought it might be cool to work together. So far it's working out pretty well. So what follows is a story of being a Harley Davidson student at MMI and a Harley Davidson tech, a graduate, but to get the whole idea we should probably start at the beginning. Before I was a motorcycle tech, I was in the restaurant business for like 10 years. One of the coolest places though was right here at TGI Fridays. While I was at Fridays, I was working here too, which means I was making a lot of money. What do you do with all that money? I came here and I bought a bike. Well, not like, well, this building, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a mobile fixture place back then. This is the old Chattahoochee Harley. Motorcycles very quickly took over my life. If I wasn't riding, I was thinking about motorcycles. It's all I could think about all the time. Maybe that's like you too. So I slaved away behind the bar and rode every chance I could get. But I still had to pay my own insurance, I had no retirement plan, and I was never home for dinner. I needed a real job. I did get a solid discount on food though. Fridays had sent me to Orlando back in 2009. I was one of those flippy bar bottle flipper dudes that, well, I went around and did competitions and stuff. But while I was in Orlando, I found out about MMI. And I came back and I bartended longer, but the idea of going to school for motorcycles never left my tiny little noggin. So once I was ready to get out of bartending, I mean, how do you go from no experience 10 years in the restaurant business, know nothing about motorcycles. How am I gonna work on motorcycles and get paid to do it? Do you try to get some sort of apprenticeship? Do you apply for online motorcycle school so you don't have to move? Do you apply at your local dealer as a wash guy and hope it all works out okay? With all these different options, what's the best way to end up here in the dealer? I don't know much about apprenticeships or anything. I just know that they weren't available around here, so that wasn't really an option. I do know that if I had become an apprentice, I wouldn't have had a piece of paper, diploma, or anything saying what I learned. So to study under somebody for years and years and then not even be able to prove that I'd actually learn anything, that didn't sound like a very good idea. At least for me. I also in the restaurant business, I'd always started at the bottom and worked my way up, and it takes forever. And there's no guarantee that you'll actually move up. Someone can get promoted right in front of you, no even if you're the most deserving. MMI is backed by the factory though, something that in my research, I didn't find another school that could say that. To me, that was important. Just seemed like they had more clout than the other schools. They also have a pretty solid hire rate for graduates. I'll link some of that information down in the description. That way you can start all your research like I did a couple years ago. It's no small decision going to school. I definitely suggest doing your research. I mean, you gotta move some amount of space sometimes far away, sometimes around the corner, but either way, there's a move involved. I'm gonna have wife and kids you're having to move like I did. You gotta find a job while you're in school. It can be pretty stressful. I made myself feel a little bit better about it by going down a little early. I'd operated on a night schedule for so long in the bar business that I figured I'd take, you know, the morning class, they have three sessions, morning, afternoon, and evening. It just kind of eased my mind to go ahead and start waking up early, go to school in the morning, just like I would once I got a job. They do all the different sessions so that it's easy for the students to find work elsewhere. I worked nights as a driver for a little while for a restaurant. 
but I eventually got on with Orlando Harley and it was a whole lot better than still being in the restaurant business. The school does have an office to help you find employment and a different office to help you find housing while you're down there. I utilized the housing department, but I didn't utilize the employment office. It was a lot harder to get a job without using it, but I got that job at Orlando Harley all by myself too, which took a lot of daily visits and after about three weeks, the manager finally broke down and just interviewed me. So it worked out. Now, I was pretty nervous about starting school. I had no motorcycle experience whatsoever. But they start you off in a class called Theory and it lasts a couple weeks. Teaches you all the basics of motorcycles, vocabulary and well, what parts look like and what they're called and all sorts of good stuff so that as you continue on through everything, you're not just a total motorcycle idiot like I was to start off with. Hey man, what'd you think of the video? Yeah, you did have a chance to watch it? Oh, you don't have theory anymore? Oh man, the whole schedule's all changed up? Yeah, I can probably figure out a way to, you know, creatively interrupt the video. So, as it turns out, since I started filming this video, the core classes have changed significantly. So, my story is still the same, but what you would experience as a student in MMI is a little different. See, I went through a 36-week core class, and now it's only 18 weeks, making the entire program only 42 weeks long. That's 18 weeks of core classes and 24 weeks of Harley-Davidson. And there's some electives you can add on, but it's all linked in the description to know, you know, what's up. But theory doesn't exist anymore. It's implemented into the other classes. There's a whole really good catalog down in the description if you're curious to know more about it. But we'll just continue on with my story, you know, as, well, how my story went. It just will be a little different than how your story's gonna go. So after that theory class, then you go on to learn all brands and how to do basic motorcycle maintenance and things like that on everything. Well, everything being Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Harley. Yeah, I think that was it. And then after you finish that part, then you go to your actual brand that you've chosen. It worked out pretty good. You might find out that you want to do something besides just what you initially went for. Pretty much an expert in Honda Rebels, by the way. Should have gotten a certification for that too. For me, once I got to the HD program, I've been in school long enough to really be in the full swing of how school worked. And, you know, I've gotten used to going home and studying and waking up on time and all that stuff. So it just seemed like totally normal to be in school, which was good because. Once the, your actual program rolls around, it's really important to learn as much as you can so that you can be prepared for when you graduate. I put in a lot of hard work, studied hard, made sure my transcript would be something to be proud of, and MMI helped me get my resume together so that when I graduated, it was really easy to get my resume out there and apply to different places. Now, really what that transcript's even doing is just proving that you're ready to learn, which sounds kind of funny because you just spent a year learning and you get out of school and you feel like you know everything you need to know. But the reality is in this profession, you never really quit learning. There's new models and new technology and lots of stuff that keeps changing in this industry that, well, means you keep learning. Just like all the other brands and other auto manufacturers and everything else, there's continued training for, well, put on by the motor company. It's one of the reasons why I really like this job though. It's always changing. It, it never gets dull. The thing I enjoy most about this job though is just sharing the joys of riding with customers in the dealership, new owners, people that just wanna learn more about their bikes, people I meet on the internet through my own YouTube channel. It's a lot of fun, for sure.
One thing's for sure, I wouldn't be where I am today without MMI. And what's that saying? If you find a job you're passionate about, you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's for everybody because it's not. It's a certain personality type and you know, you gotta be willing to get dirty and really earn your money. But I do have some links in the description to help you decide if it's right for you. I got a ton of information about MMI on my own channel too. So while you're in the description checking out the links about the course and all that stuff, you can check out my channel as well. Speaking of my channel, I check out of there the same way every time. And since that's pretty much my story, how I ended up here at a Harley dealer, I guess that's kind of it. So. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big dirty thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Tap the bell notification so you know when I upload. Except it's not really me. But there's still a ton to learn on this channel, so hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.